Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna paint a cool lava pattern and we're starting right now. Alright guys, so this is just a regular blank from Lure Blanks, but this time I already carved in some more details. I did this with a Dremel, which is a rotary tool which cuts out uh, plastic really easily. And because of these jerk baits have a quite thick plastic, you can carve in extra details, so you can actually change the entire lure. So I already carved the details of the lava into the lure. So now I got some wicked black in my chamber now, and we're gonna do a black base coat over the entire lure. Right, so I haven't cleaned out my chamber and I still have black residue in my chamber now. And I'm gonna add two drops of Wicked Detail White, which is a transparent white. I think two drops will do the trick. Add one drop of reducer, one drop of 4030. As you can see, I get a dark grey tone now. Alright, and with this dark grey, we're gonna lighten up that belly a little bit. Right, so now we added our dark grey, now we're gonna add two more drops of white. Alright, so now we got a lighter grey in our chamber, and now we're gonna highlight those areas that we painted grey a little bit more. I'll show you what I mean. And what this does, this creates a little bit more of a 3D effect. It gives more depth to the entire lower body. Because we're using three shades of, well, two shades of grey and a black. Alright, now I've got some Vallejo dead white in my chamber and I'm gonna quickly whiten that belly a little bit. Alright, now I got pearl white in my chamber. And I'm gonna do all the scales. Alright, and now I got opaque black in my chamber and I'm gonna wash that between those scales. So I reduced my opaque black paint a little bit more than I usually do. And I got a little piece of wet cloth here. And what we wanna do is we wanna spray the entire area where we want to wash it. Alright, now I got wicked white in my chamber and we're gonna trace down all the carved out lines that we made. And it is no problem if you go a little bit on the outside of those lines. And now we're gonna use a transparent orange. I'm gonna be mixing wicked detail yellow with wicked detail red. Alright, so I got my orange and now we're just gonna paint everything that is white, orange. Alright, now I got my Iwata Micron and I got some opaque white in there. And we're gonna trace those orange lines again. But we're gonna stay in the core of those lines. Alright, now I find the glow around the gill plates a little too bright, so I'm going to tone that down with a little bit of red. This wicked detail red.
All right, and as finishing touch to the lava, we're gonna take a white again. And there where there is more lava, we're gonna paint the core white. That makes it glow a little bit more. All right, now I got some wicked detail white in my chamber. And I'm going to highlight some parts of the head just to make it stick out more and give it more of a 3D effect. Alright, now I got some wicked detail black magenta on my chamber and I want to darken everything behind the head just a little bit to, to make that head stick out more. And now I got these two eyes from Lurblanks. But I find them a little bit too yellow. So I'm going to tone these down a little bit with Kenny 2 Grabber Orange. Right, time to put these on. And now we're ready for a clear coat. Alright guys, so lure is finished, and as you can see, this turned out really, really cool. This is probably, literally, the hottest lure I ever made. I really like the back, the back is really cool. And because we used different types of grey and white, we actually created, especially on the back you can see it very well, we created some dimension in there, some depth. So play around with those with, with those colors, play around with three shades of the same color to create some more depth in there. But overall, this is a really cool lure. So guys, and if you liked the video and especially if you like this lure then click like. I will leave a link in the description below to all the materials that I used to paint this lure. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.